Hello, Jess Too Good here back from our video, and today I'm reviewing this classic 2001 LEGO Studio set called the Temple of Gloom. It has 56 pieces, two minifigures, and it retailed for $7 in the United States. And since I have this sealed, let's open it up. Ah, ruining all the value, but I don't mind. I, I love opening up old LEGO sets. And there you go. You can see all the parts sealed in here, all fresh and new. Got this little plate. And interestingly enough, it's dirty, but I guess that's because wherever they put it, there was a little hole open on here. They have all these little instructions and everything, which we'll go over in later in the video, but let's just get into the minifigures. And here's a Johnny Thunder minifigure. This is based off of his Egypt and Dino Island uh, appearance, which I think Dino Island was like around 2000 and the Egypt one was around 98, 99. And I just love this classic minifigure. I, I'm sorry, this is, this is just so nostalgic for me. And of course we saw him updated with pupils in the, the Orient Expedition line in 2003. And then the Lego movie gave a super updated version um, back in 2014. So he's still kicking it. And he has a little pistol, old pistol, old style hat and everything like that. You can see the hat mold even has like the little hole right there. Just a very classic minifigure and printing all the way up to the little top of the minifigure. So that's it for Johnny Thunder. Then we got this cameraman, and he has a blue little cap, facial printing, that is also nostalgic to me, and the blue cap is very nostalgic as well. And then you got this little cameraman printing on the back, which looks great. So, very nice looking minifigure. So here are the builds for the set. The Temple of Gloom is a very simple build, but I love the play feature that comes with it, and I always loved it ever since, you know, I first got the set back in the day. Um, the design is, you know, it looks like a little bit of a temple scene. I like how they have the little jewel right at the end right there, because the jewels were uncommon back in the day. And this little scorpion as well, just to add a little bit of details with the skeleton head and even this little piece of foliage right here. Uh, but the best part, like I said, is a play feature, and you would stick maybe Johnny Thunder and he's about to get the jewel. And then you would pull this part, and all the little platforms are supposed to fall. So let's try that one more time. And all the little pieces fall down like that. Some of them sometimes get stuck in between, but it's really cool how that play function works. Then you could easily just slide it back in and put the little plates back on there. It's a very easily made function. There's also this little camera for the cameraman, and this little piece of tape, which is a print usually slides out easily, but still it's a very nice little build. And of course you could rotate it because it's on one of those little Technic pieces right there. And you even got this little switch so you can move that around as you'd like. So we already looked at the box, but here is the back of the box, which has some nice alternate build for the set. And I think I made one of those back in the day and it, I just miss how they used to put alternate builds. I just love that when they used to say, just imagine they would have like one to two alternate builds. It, it really spawned for more creativity. Let's look at some of these old Lego inserts. You can see they have Life on Mars right here, which I also used to like back in the day. These were like my Lego sets that I, I sort of grew up with. And you can see they have the Steven Spielberg action kit right there. Racers, my friend had those. I never was really into those. Um, this one, I actually got this recently. You got the old Star Wars right there. Oh, look at that Millennium Falcon. Knight's Kingdom, Alpha Team, which I used to like, and uh, of course Bionicle. These Bionicles right here were actually the ones that I, those those were my Bionicles. Those were the really the only ones I got into that one and then the ones that followed the year after. So you can see that's available August 1st and yeah, you could join and get a free Lego catalog. There's also join the Lego club, free membership inside, basically what Lego club magazine is today. And it's still up and running. I wonder if you send this in, if it's going to really do anything. And there's a little postage stamp and everything like that. And then you got, of course, your little instruction booklet, which has an advertisement for some of the more studio sets. I actually never owned any of these. I think my cousin has one of these. I think it's specifically this one. And it, it just never, it never interested me. I, I, would, I do want this one. This is the only one I really want out of all these three. And yeah, you can see how old these little uh, instruction booklets are where they used to put little pictures of a potential brick film going on there. So I like how they inspired that. And you can see it's really inspired by um, Lego, or Indiana Jones, not Lego, Indiana Jones, which followed many years after. And you can see there's more little screenshots from there where they use like a baseball for a little ball, ball boulder running down from Temple of Doom. 
and you can see they even have like a little bit of a jaws going on there it looks like so i really like that and yeah i'm sorry i'm just i'm just super nostalgic with this so now let's get on to the final verdict so look this set is nostalgic to me i acknowledge it's not one of the best sets out there but it's one of my favorite sets because of how much it meant to me when i was younger and that's okay i'm not saying it's it's an amazing phenomenal set i just really love this set personally and it was nice to see this kind of remade with the Lava Fall set from 2015 from Ninjago, where it follows almost the same price because this was seven United States dollars. I think that one was eight and two minifigures and it has a similar play function and everything like that. And I just like this as I think it was a great value back in the day because it has a great play feature and, you know, you could get a little play like playability, just funness out of this. And it's actually a great way to get that out of print Johnny Thunder minifigure because even then the Egypt sets were kind of phasing out because it, this came out in 2001 and the Egypt sets came around 1998. So this is the older version of Johnny Thunder so it was a good way to get him back in the day. So I can't rate this set because it's an old set because I usually, a lot of my ratings are contemporary. But I do really just love this set personally. And that's it for this review and tell me your memories with LEGO Studios and you could post them in the comments if you liked LEGO Studios because I used to love LEGO Studios when it first came out. And I'll see you guys later.